So doctor, one of the things that you're talking about at the conference here is ozone and how that's used as a cancer treatment. Can you explain exactly how that works? I don't call ozone a cancer treatment. Okay. I call it an adjunctive, it's a supportive treatment. Sure. And okay. the reason why is because ozone has several wonderful effects on the body. I'm gonna use my experience with Ebola as an example. Mm. In fact, there's an Ebola outbreak right now and I published a paper on ozone curing Ebola in five out of five cases. Wow. Wow, yeah, but the world doesn't want to know because you can't make money on this. Um, in, ozone has five properties I'll go through. The first one is it improves rheology of blood. That means blood flow properties. It probably makes red cells more flexible. Um, red cells are larger diameter than a capillary. So something this big has to get through something that big. Okay. So it has to bend to get through. I believe ozone is good at increasing red cell flexibility. So you see less co co coining or piling up, it's called rouleau formation. The second thing that ozone does is it increases 2,3-DGP, which helps release oxygen from hemoglobin. So now you're getting better circulation, better oxygen release. And then the third thing is the arterial venous oxygen difference gets larger. That has to be mitochondrial consumption because it's consumption of oxygen, which only occurs in mitochondria. So you're getting a triple whammy here just with oxygen. And we know that cancer thrives in a hypoxic environment. And there are studies that show that if you get more oxygen in there, the tumors behave less aggressively. Ozone has two additional properties. One uh, is it modulates the immune system through uh, increasing cytokines and interferons. And then another property is direct anti-infective properties. So all five I used, I believe, would help Ebola, which it did. And I believe all five would be useful for cancer. And I've actually seen it, and so have others, but I call it adjunctive. Why? Because in my experience, a minority have had dramatic responses to just ozone. And I think that it is an adjunct of therapy because it will be additive, if not synergistic, but let's call it additive to just about everything else. And if somebody's getting chemotherapy, I, to me it's imperative to do ozone therapy because it mitigates the toxicity of the chemotherapy. I don't do chemotherapy myself, but if my patients choose to do it, then I want to do ozone with it.